All right, back to your local weather yet again. And of course, we're going to take it to the tropics to show you how this all shakes out over the next several days. We'll go into again the rainfall that is just down along the coastal areas here. You're going to see it even uh, the rainfall kind of brushing along some areas. We'll go right back into uh, Hurricane uh, Danielle. As I've mentioned before, it has just uh, become a hurricane just about an hour or two ago. It will be possibly become a category two hurricane as we go into the weekend. And you can see it's just going to meander in this area just west of the Azores. Now they had a reconnaissance flight that flew in there. Didn't really get a full picture of the uh, center eye wall, but they did get a look at the northern portion and the western portion, and they realized that they were in the uh, intensification of getting into a hurricane. So that's how that plays out for them right now. We track the rest of the tropics here. You can see again, as I mentioned, the Cabo Verde Islands that has a little system kind of working in the area. 10% chance there. Well, we take it back to 91 L with a 50 to 70% chance for today or at least the next two days into five days. This is the one I want to show you and then why is because as we go through it, it's going to be making a right turn heading up toward Danielle. You can see that now as it skirts away from Bahamas. But we take a peek here at how this all shakes out. Again, we have Gulf temperatures. You can see that little line that's going on. Very conducive for uh, tropical storm activity, possibly. You're going to see it here, right here, continuing in. There's Danielle right there. And it will continue to track just uh, into the Lesser Antilles, go away from the Bahamas, and skirt up to the north. This is the global forecast model. The next model is going to be the European model. And as you can see right here, 91L continues to track a little bit more so, pressing uh, past the uh, portions of the Antilles. You can see in San Juan, working a little bit closer to the Bahamas, still skirting between uh, areas along the eastern seaboard and the Bermuda uh, uh, Island right there, as you can see. So that's why I wanted to show you that. That's the possibility of this happening. Okay, so again, we get back into satellite radar. We see the uh, rainfall that's beginning along the coastline. Fortunately, nothing showing uh, to happen uh, as far as heavy rainfall is concerned as far as uh, excessive rain or any flash flooding. But we do have the flood warnings that are in play along the Pearl River, and I want to show you that as well. Right now, the Pearl River near Bogalusa, it is at 21.03 feet. It's going to continue to reach 21.3 feet, so it's uh, continuing to rise, and it is in, excuse me, it is in moderate flooding. Uh, we also have, again, the minor flooding here, as you can see, the Pearl River near uh, Pearl River. That's going to continue to uh, rise as we go through the next uh, few days and continue into next week. We take a look at our local temperatures. There are the showers and storms working from the, from the coastal areas across the south shore, getting from the lakefront all the way to Laplace. We go deeper into the latter portion of the afternoon and then beyond that. We get into the 5 o'clock hour. You're going to see that over by Lake Marapa, possibly extending all the way to the lakefront in eastern Orleans with heavier rainfall. We're going to be seeing kind of start to break down as we go through early dinner time. And you notice nothing doing on the north shore. We'll increase the cloud cover as we go through the 12 o'clock hour with more rainfall coming back through the early morning through sunrise for Saturday. We get some heavy rainfall potential going into the 9 o'clock hour. We're still not at noon yet. Still heavy rainfall comes in, explodes on the North Shore. You're going to see that right through the afternoon hours into the evening with more on the way to finish out going through the 7 o'clock hour at night. We go into the possibility of rainfall picking up as we can see here, uh, maybe uh, uh, up to about uh, just under an inch, inch. We'll pick up more so on Saturday with up to maybe Maybe three, possibly four inches of rainfall. And as we carry over to how this all plays out for us, we're going to be seeing conditions to be like this over the next few days. We'll get into Sunday. You see less amounts of rainfall coming into the area. You can see it coming in from the southwest uh, and possibly heavier rainfall coming into the afternoon. This particular system will continue to just drag along all the way up to the lakefront and out to St. Bernard Parish and then maybe spottier showers to finish. So we'll probably see as much rainfall uh, Sunday as we pick up today. So that's how it all plays out. Saturday Today we have the excessive rainfall for a slight chance of flash flooding. That's mostly along the south shore yet again. And then we go back to a low risk for everybody picking up uh, rainfall, as you can see, uh, for Sunday. We'll take it into the day, 90 to 95 uh, uh, degrees for the kids when you pick them up after school, showers and thunderstorm activity. And then, of course, we take it into how this all shakes out for the remainder of the weekend. Football, 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 yes, but upper 80s all the way into Monday. And then we get into Tuesday with uh, stronger temperatures or heavier temperatures on the way for us getting into those 90s back to